Hey Leos, welcome to March. So where are you at right now? They're saying, ooh, some of you are kind of stuck in a negative or toxic pattern, situation, mindset, something like that. They're saying, um, for a lot of you, this is just your mood and you're feeling like you can't deeply connect to other people. Um, they're saying like you're not judging yourself necessarily because of that. Probably you're more judging the other person, but, or anything else involved. But they're saying you're not really being judgmental. It's just like, um, you know, any lack of connection that you feel, it's only because you like live and breathe drama. Like if things are peaceful, if there is no like tragedy to overcome, like then you're not going to be trauma bonded to a certain job, to a certain person or relationship. Okay. And so they're like, no news is good news. Take a fucking chill pill. Okay. Um, what's tainting any feelings of happiness this month? And they're saying, well, you're not so much uh, putting your own needs first, like your own self-care. You need something exciting in your life. Um, and so since that's not happening in relationships and in general this month, like go and create your own fun and your own excitement basically is what they're saying. What is it that you think is going to make you happy? And they're like, absolutely, it is something that is wrong for you and you know that it's wrong for you, which is why you feel completely powerless over your own happiness. Um, but how is this? Whoa, whoa, that was weird. So I could swear that they flipped out and then, yeah, okay. So they're saying here, what's hiding here? is that, you know, the past is behind you and you seem to forget that sometimes. Like just because you have a pattern of something before doesn't mean you haven't broken it and aren't moving forward now. Everything is peaceful and calm. This is what you wanted. But you're almost like, you know, throwing up a shield, waiting for the next bad thing to happen, like you're expecting it to happen, even though you're not manifesting it, even though you're not like asking for something bad to happen. It's like you're afraid that something will. And they're like, no, 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 no. That's not the case. Go create some healthy fun and excitement. That's what you need to do. Um, so anyway, how is this perception true? And they're like, you already know this is. You can feel it. You know that within yourself. How is your perception false? And they're saying that you've completely moved on from things and that you're not a little bit confused about what you want for the future. But once you think about what it is that you desire, what you want, where you want to go, go create that for yourself is essentially what they're saying. So what's going to make you the most happy in March? And they're saying, um, we don't need to tell you that. You already know. Um, then they say... It has really very little to do with like the spiritual world. Um, you have full awareness and you know that you need to put yourself a little bit more um, first and foremost, really honoring yourself, caring for yourself, doing things that you love. They're saying like you might just be a little bit bored or sad, bummed out, or maybe you don't have as much money as you used to or you're worried about money and concerned about it. But they're like self-care doesn't have to mean that. It could just be like a bath. That is like, you know, extra long with no disturbances, taking a day off of work and taking a bath while your kids are in school. Um, they're saying like, whatever used to bring you joy in the past, it doesn't matter if you have to do it in a different way. They're like, that's not the important part. The important thing here is just to decide to really care for and honor yourself in this time of peace and remember like you deserve this. You deserve it. Just because you're not putting out fires doesn't mean that things um, are boring now. You know, this is what you asked for. This is what you wanted. And now you're getting it. So um, forces that are at play outside of your control in favor of your happiness. And they're saying um, people are not reaching out to you in like annoying ways. You know, you know how like sometimes somebody might just send you a text message and they're like, hi. And you're like, ugh. And it ruins your day because now you feel obligated to respond to them and you just weren't in the mood and you're like, why am I even friends with you? How did you get my phone number? Like, bleh. um, people are going to do that a little less this month. So good. <laughs> They're going to ask you for less. Um, and you know, like honestly, your work obligations are not going to be as much. They're not as stressful. And then, but that might freak you out a little bit too. Like, okay, do I still have value here? You're lying to yourself if you're saying you don't. Like, they're like, chill the fuck out. Um, you're not so much thinking about your long term and like how this is what you wanted for the long term and really embracing and enjoying this drama free time. Um, 
what's working against you? And they're saying, well, you know, fun for one, you maybe aren't not having as much of it. And then your own decisions. Um, they're saying like when you're feeling unhappy or bored, you might go stirring up some trouble. And I don't mean it to sound like Leo's are total drama queens. I'm a Leo. So like I'm always, Oh, I hate drama, but it's true. I do get a little bit bored when there is done. Um, but they're saying, you know, like, You've been through a lot, and so now is, like, your time to rest and stuff like that. And now you're coming into, after that, uh, this is a number message, this, like, kind of, like, sexier energy where people are drawn to you. And so they're, like, enjoy the time off. They're saying, like, right now other people don't want the same things that you want, and so you're kind of just, like, avoiding each other because that would have been a toxic situation. So no news is good news. If this is a boring month, awesome. Awesome for you. You finally get to take a breather. Um What's going to bring you luck this month? So, unfortunately, I had uh, my own little bit of drama going on in my life, and so I couldn't get these videos out as soon as I wanted to. Your lucky day was set to be the 8th when I wrote it down, but then they say, okay, because this is coming out after the 8th, um, the 15th is the next luckiest. <laughs> so there's that. Um, your crystal of the month, your power crystal, your lucky crystal is tiger eye. It looks like this. It also comes in blue, um, which I have on my website. So you can get one of these. If you already have one, just use it. If you have a local rock store, that's good too. If you get one from me from my website, um, it comes with a video playlist on how to use them and a bunch of other stuff. So anyway, what is the point? It gets rid of fear and anxiety. Um, it approves your ability to like identify what problems are and then solve them, which will maybe help you get rid of some of that need for like drama or excitement. It strengthens your will, your self confidence. Um, it helps like eliminate some stubbornness and stuff like that. It gets rid of confusion. It helps you be very clear minded and focused. So it does a bunch of other stuff, which you can look up over there later. But that's um, your crystal of the month. Now, your color of the month is the pearl energy. And it's interesting how the number here is a 2-5, right? 2 be meaning things are balanced and stable. 5 meaning, oh, but not forever. So let's enjoy it now because things are going to expand. Um, anyway, the pearl energy is, says connecting to the divine. So with this one, um, you know, anything in the white family is really going to be cleansing and purifying. It's the color of integrity, honesty, truth, that sort of thing. But what's interesting about this one is my notes to myself, as far as color energies go, it says pearl, nothing fucking else, only pearl. <laughs> so sometimes you might have, I think it was Scorpio this month, that has like a couple colors that work in their favors. This is for the whole fucking month the fucking color. Excuse the Fs, but um, not to be a potty mouth. It's just like emphasis, okay? I'm I'm bringing back the drama. Um, what's interesting, now I feel like a shit bag because I have been wearing pearls coincidentally all month before I even decided what your color energy was or, I mean, your spirit guides decided. And I took them off today. Um, but I had a pearl bracelet, if you watch the other videos, and pearl earrings, totally embracing this pearl energy. Um, so I guess I'm going to have to go change once I'm done with this video. But anyway, the point with this one is the affirmation says, surround me with your healing light, strengthen my connection to divine love and light. So we're very, very reliant upon divine love and light energies this month um, to kind of like cleanse us and clear us and ready us for the next chapter, um, which will be coming. I feel like this is like late summer or like late spring, early summer energy where things are going to get kind of wild and fun and exciting again. Okay. What energies do you need to bring into your life to experience more happiness now? And they're like, so any sort of depression or sadness energy that you have, or um, like, don't deny it. Like, acknowledge it. You know, kind of just work through it. Go, okay, I feel sad. Why do I feel sad? Okay, got it. How can I change that? And they're saying it's going to make you feel a little bit crazy um, initially when you do that. And you don't have to talk to other people about it, but just like questioning and asking yourself or asking, you know, your spirit guides while you wear those pearls. Like, hey, what's up here? Why do I feel that way? How can we dissolve that? Like face it, deal with it, recognize whether that's an, a truth we want to adopt or not, and then cleanse it. Okay. So um, how can I sustain some happiness once I get some in the month of March? And they're saying don't work so hard. You've got to figure out a way to work smarter, not harder. Do less. 
Um, for every one thing that you add onto your plate, subtract two, basically. Um, so March overall, in a nutshell, for you, they're like, this is not the happiest, most joyful month ever. But if you go back to old tried and true methods, like when you were the happiest, what were you doing then? Bring those back. You know, because chances are that now you have broken those routines and that's why you might be feeling sad, especially when it comes to workplace stuff. And so me personally, as a Leo, I know that I historically was much more regimented in the way that I ran my business and I did things. I would have like a daily schedule. Here are the things I want to do. And like when I was on schedule, when I was like following it, I was like, boom, 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 super productive. And now I'm feeling bad about myself and like getting down on myself and being lazy and shit. Um, because I'm not doing that and I know I need to bring that back. Um, and you know, there's always a thousand excuses as to why you can't and some of them very legitimate, but some of them not. And so they're like, look backwards, see what worked for you before. And then now implement that moving forward. So that's March. I love you so much and I'll see you in April.